Hello, I'm Chris Athanas. I'm a KMP developer. And today we're going to be continuing uh, part 14 uh, on the KMP proof of concept, Fred's road, uh, road trip storyteller. Um, and I added, he, he, Fred asked me to add uh, the swipe, swiping back and forth, the swiping feature, which um, I'm going to demo here first. And then, um, let me add, let me check. Where's, where's things? Oh yeah, update on the, on the portal. Um, the AI software, they're having some issues with it. So it was giving some spurious results and it was trying to update the firmware and they couldn't get their tool to update properly with this new AI thing. So they said they're gonna come out on Tuesday. But anyway, uh, back to a, a problem I can solve today. Um, okay, so here's, so here's the app. And uh, Fred was like, hey, I'd like to just like not have to navigate back to the, uh, oh, let me get me, let me get my, it might get myself out of the way. <laughs> I would like to not navigate back to the app all the time. Let me, let's go make this, what is this, this is okay. I would like to um, not have to go back to the list again. And he, I, I wanted to be able to do this. And I would like to also point out that the scrolls are all, can be saved separately. So they're, it, you don't have to, it's not always scrolling back to the top, which is, uh, I think a, a, the correct behavior. If you want to compare like one of these pictures down here with one of the pictures down here, you know, you don't have to go back up and uh, each time you scroll back and forth. Um, so that's the feature um, that I was asked to implement. And I, uh, I have here this annotations. Right now they're closed because they're open, but right here you can show the annotations. I have this uh, commit number turned on, uh, which, let me move my face back over here. Okay. Uh, which which just gives you a heat map of the latest changes. Like so, here's the the one is like the first. The so I'm using this. Uh, I'm using view by commit number, which I thought was going to be the hex number, but it's like how many how many commits to this file? Which commit number was this line made on? So these are the latest ones, which are all bright. So I just made a whole bunch of changes, and I add this horizontal pager here, um, and I took I took out the marker details. Uh, the load of the details from the from the sheet side, and I put it inside this uh, horizontal pager, composable, uh, which which all which accepts this uh, pager state, which is keeps the you know what, what page it's currently on, and when it's when it's uh, anytime that the user switches it back and forth, this block gets gets called, which changes the current display marker, whichever one's being loaded, and the loading happens here. And I'm passing in a function. This is like functional programming. So I'm passing in a function, which is this load marker details function here, which um, itself accepts a function <laughs> that does the updating the repo. So I've 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 separated out, uh, de uh, decoupled those, uh, right here. So load marker details has a has a doesn't know anything about repos, and this uh, marker details screen doesn't know anything about how markers are loaded. So I'm setting this up for, for testability uh, at, at some point. Uh, soon I'm gonna do the UI, UI testability. So I'm not using any view models here. I wanna just try and not use view models, just these functions. And uh, that's that's my strategy because I just don't like the ping pong uh, of the view models. So here's the animated visibility. And I do wanna point out that I had to keep track of the, where is it? Uh, the state, so loading state is each individual page, which is the each individual marker is on each individual page. I keep the loading state for each page. So as it, as you swipe through it, it'll load all the details uh, on the fly. So it's not preloading anything, which is you know very efficient you know for network use. Um, and this is the image that you're clicking on when you do the you pan and zoom. Here's the loading states, and here's the page index. So the horizontal pager gives you the a page index here. And you know, as as you come into the function, it loads it up, and the load function will figure out if it needs to go to the if it has the database already, or if it's uh, uh if it needs to load these details. So that's that's all this what this 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 thing does. Um, I'm saying this up for testing, or this is you know for doing for testing. At some point, um, and I was when I was developing, I was using that part there. So you can see I changed most of the stuff in here. Is what changed um, to handle the sa saving the scrolling, the images uh, of the loading, you know, coming in the loading state. And uh, what else did I do? There was one more thing, I think. 
I had to put the page page count here. Right, let me see if I can find it. Is there any more places here? No, no, I actually just extract it. Where do I extract it? I extract it here, yeah. So I extract the marker details, and this just gets the lo loaded marker uh, as, a mar as, a loading, as a loaded marker, um, and then uses that one, and it gets out the data, so it just uses that one right there. So um, I grab it out uh, depending on um, what this marker details is, which is gonna be per page. So this is, you know, this is a marker detail state per page. So that's how that works. Um, I really liked horizontal pager. It makes it super easy. Doing this in the previous way with XML would have taken at least a week and it took me like a day uh, after, you know, trying to figure out what exactly this horizontal pager needs. Because uh, I thought I would keep track of the scroll, scroll automatically, but now it doesn't. You got to keep track of it inside here. Um, and the, uh, so you have to do the scroll state and the, and the loaded state and per, per, per marker. So that's all that has. So you can look at that code. Um, it's, I've already tested it pretty good. So it looks, looks pretty, pretty good. So I've already pushed out a new version to, to the testers and that's about it for right now. Um, on to the next thing. I'm Chris. Give me a like and subscribe.